Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm so glad tonight, Juwita Jabipa podcast. Uh, because tonight is a very special, uh, I have a very special guest. Uh, she was my one of my colleagues when I work in one of a very famous UN agency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried with her, but I have a, very, a lot of good time with her. I spend a lot of good time with her. So uh, I bet uh, our guest tonight is, I don't know, is this the first time for her to uh, ask to introduce herself in 2020? I don't know. So just... <laughs> <laughs> without further ado <laughs> let's give her time to introduce herself to all of us here the viewer the listener please <laughs> okay okay thank you so much Rita, for inviting me You're it's my welcome. honor to introduce myself first time in 2021 really <laughs> the Sachi suzuki yeah um i graduated from um architecture department and I finished uh, my PhD into it 2018 on post-disaster housing recovery and after that I uh, started working in Jakarta together with Juwita <laughs> so mm. I'm very excited to be here today. Thank you. So before we talk more about what is post-disaster architecture, because mm -hmm. I have no idea about that. And trust me, me and other uh, listener, maybe mostly uh, my nephew and my niece <laughs> 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 and my friend. What is this post-disaster? We're familiar with disaster, but we don't know about the architecture, I think, especially me. Um, that's why I'm, I'm, I have a lot of, I mean, about 2,500 questions. Are you ready for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not ready, but, uh... <laughs> but before we go to that question, uh, I would like to ask you three uh, fan facts about you. Would you like to share with us? Okay. Yeah, sure. Three fan facts about Sachi Suzuki. Uh, first, mm, I like a summer. Summer? But uh -huh. Summer. But I didn't expect the summer to be hot until I come to Indonesia. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. We, we and, have summer all, all year. <laughs> yeah. Summer I like rain. summer in Sendai, but mm. <laughs> summer in Sendai is kind of much cooler than mm -hmm. Jakarta. I, have mm -hmm. <laughs> I still like, I still like the summer. And the second one is that um, I am architect who never designed house, who never designed actually. So I studied architecture, but I have to say that those who graduated from architecture department don't design because they are very involved in a different roles. So I'm an architect without any architecture actually built <laughs> True. Uh -huh. and uh, the third one is um i'm originally from a uh, tohoku area in japan uh -huh. and that is a uh, area of uh, people who tend to be you know shy and modest <laughs> so I am modest. i'm also uh -huh. shy <laughs> so this is a very good opportunity to be uh, talking in a public, but I'm very <laughs> excited and nervous. So, <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's very formal. <laughs> Juita Jabipa, uh, listener and viewer. Uh, um, maybe, uh, well, Sachi Suzuki. First, my my first impression about this beautiful girl is, oh, she looks shy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just like what you said. But instantly, I don't know. I just like you at that time because you seems like friendly, even shy, but friendly. Some people, uh, they look shy, but they just kind of... Uh, avoid crowd or uh, avoid uh, people but Sachi is uh, she approach yeah and then uh, <laughs> it's tempting to 
why is this time? And then and then after we talk, uh, I just feel click and then yeah, and I just know that you are uh, very intelligent. And then oh okay, uh, she's an architect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before uh, before we go further to the post disaster architect, so uh, what makes you uh, learn about that subject? I mean, when you were a when you were a little girl, uh, mm. what is your idea? What is your dream to be? Mm. So when I was a little, mm. I went to visit my friends' houses. I really like to visit different houses. Some are living in a big apartment. Some had a nice uh, detached housing. Some mm -hmm. have nice garden. So that was my kind of hobby to look at different houses. And I was dreaming to design the house one day. So that led me to study architecture in a university. But uh, it was combined with a disaster once I experienced the uh, earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Mm -hmm. So then that is the time I needed to um, kind of be involved in a post the reconstruction, no matter I liked or not, <laughs> but all the projects in the university, it was all about the reconstruction. So that's uh, how I got involved about reconstruction okay so since the beginning you're already uh, kind of uh, in love with the design of house mm. or building something like that okay so is there any family family influence or maybe friends influence or movie mm. influence or maybe uh, imaginary boyfriend influence or oh, that's me <laughs> 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 influence <laughs> you have an imaginary so I give influence to me <laughs> okay uh, like, hey. uh, I got the influence from my elder brother uh -huh. he was not an architect but he liked to buy a architecture magazine uh -huh. and it had a lot of pictures of uh, different architectures in the different countries some are very modern uh -huh. and designs were so uh, cutting edge. So I really liked uh, reading those books. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you know, if you study in architecture, it's really hardworking industry. <laughs> you have to stay up uh, day and night to, you know, design and uh, create a plan and the models. So that is reality, but at the time I was reading the magazine, I didn't know all about this. And then, oh, I just wanted to, you know, design these nice things. It's cool. And then the people who are designing must be also cool. So that was um, how I met in architecture at the beginning. But do you like number at the time? I mean, like, because when we talk about design, I mean, reconstruction, mm -hmm. something like that is a related to number, right? To calculate uh, comparison, yeah, ratio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Do you familiar at that time? I mean, is that something also that you like at that time? Well, <laughs> I liked, uh, I didn't really like mathematics. Uh -huh. I do calculation because it's needed sometimes, <laughs> but I like more uh, of physics, but uh, I was really bad at mathematics. So I was sure that oh, I will not uh, be talented for, you know, structural design or uh -huh. like, uh, uh, but the calculation is mainly for, you know, structure or environment. Mm -hmm. But for design, I can still use, utilize my uh, hobby. I like uh, drawing, yeah, sketching. Yeah. Uh -huh. So those are what I like. And then I can utilize it in design. <laughs> Even so, I don't, I didn't write the numbers much. So, so can we say that? Uh, I mean, an architect, uh, he's very she or he very good in design, uh, and then I can mm. easily ask someone to calculate about the the number or the ratio right. of that design. Is it true? Right. Yeah. So architecture is quite a, a teamwork, yeah. and. Some are good at uh, drawing, some are good at calculation, some are good at uh, construction management. So like uh, these are all different ability. 
And then you cannot build the house by yourself. You always have to collaborate with people. So that okay. is something good. Yeah, because uh, I like number. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, I'm, you love number. Yeah, I like number. I mean, <laughs> uh, I say that because I don't know. Maybe because my high school uh, education background is accounting, basic accounting, and then oh, I passed I the see. test. Yeah, and I certified for the basic accounting from the national mm -hmm. certificate, and then. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, like, uh, exciting. I mean, that's not my choice. That's my my parents' suggestion, my sister's suggestion because I'm the youngest. But I think, uh, uh, I mean, like, for drawing, I mean, like, uh, design, I think I'm zero. <laughs> zero. That's why I really admire people who can draw. I, uh, I I really, really admire people who can draw than singing. Because singing, I think everybody can sing. But drawing is uh, mm. very different. Like, for example, in my family, only one can draw. So, for example, if you ask mm. me, can you draw me a flower, a simple flower? So, uh, yes, I can. And then it become a lion. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I can <laughs> my brother, um, one of my big brother, uh, he graduated from um, a vocational school uh, and mm -hmm. it's an architect. And then he can draw in the special paper, right? The, the paper is a uh, light, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. And I quite amazed. And then his son is also love to draw like uh, from comic Japan. Uh, how, oh, good. How, how do you call Manga? Uh, Manga, manga, yeah, manga, manga, yeah, you can, you can draw, yeah. So, do you also, when you were a kid, you also, I mean, you really love to draw, despite of yeah. uh, love the design? Yeah, I love uh, drawing since I was a uh, kindergarten, uh -huh. <laughs> and, you know, since I said I'm shy, I, I'm not really good at talking to people or creating new friends, but at the time when I was drawing something. People come around me and then watch. Oh, what are you drawing? Can I join or can you tell me how to draw? So that was a good way for starting communication to me. Okay. <laughs> so, so that was when you uh, want something important. When you uh, at that time when you uh, cross on a boy or someone, uh, you just mm -hmm. you just say how you feel on in a draw or in a picture. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you draw the paper this is how i feel about you something like that do you do that <laughs> maybe a couple of times but not all the time <laughs> no. okay and then what makes you uh you say that you you uh experience tsunami and then mm -mm. Uh, you learn about reconstruction so what makes you uh that uh post disaster uh architect is mm. interesting i mean like do you, I mean, what is the strong reason for that? Mm. So, post in when we think about the post disaster situation, the architecture is important, that is a tangible, that is a physical, that has to be rebuilt. But it's it has more meanings than just as a building. Because when you think about the house, house is of course, it protect from you, uh, protect from, uh, from rain, the rain from the heat, yeah. whatever winds. Mm -hmm. But um, of course, it's a place for family or like a, a gathering, and also place where you can start maybe your new work. Then you commute from there, and maybe you are also physically attached to your land or your village. Mm -hmm. So like it has a multiple meaning for people. So it's a, not only like a safe place, but it's a important place for you. I guess for Juita, maybe if you imagine your house from your childhood, you think you have a special memory, right? True. So huh. yeah, so it's it's very important thing for people. So not just um, design could be anything, you know, just the architecture design could be for, you know, just the rich people, a very special big architecture. But that is not interesting anymore to me. The most important thing is that I uh, help architecture, which is uh, truly important for uh, people. So like when you lost your house, mm -hmm. it's it's very, very difficult. You, you cannot uh, uh, 
feel safe anymore mm. you feels like uh, it's, it's very just uh, difficult to stay in a temporary crisis but when you get new house you will be so happy and then can reconnect with other people and rebuild your all life so that is a very meaningful work i i i think so that's how um post disaster housing uh, became my uh focus after that disaster and it's also very important <clears throat> um but uh how do you how do you start i mean like uh for example when people want to build a house uh, they just copy from other house or someone else house mm -hmm. and what about a uh, building uh, for a post disaster architect i mean like do you copy from the house or building who survived from disaster or mm -hmm. you create a new formula or combine both of it ah, you you got a good point it's actually <laughs> the uh. best is combining <laughs> combining because huh? yeah for example in the tohoku area there are many like smaller villages uh -huh. where people had a big um land a bigger garden maybe they enjoyed some farming so people were used to live in those big houses with the bigger garden mm -hmm. so people always want to have a similar thing after disaster okay i lost this thing so i want to you know build the same thing back again so that is what they hope mm -hmm. but sometimes it's, it's a too expensive or you know in new place you may have a smaller land or something there are a lot of reasons that you cannot really build the same thing but uh, you can still you know modify the architect uh, should be there to help them to modify you know how to modify maybe thinking about the size of lawns it's better that you have smaller lawns so maybe you should uh, build the smaller houses but still if you want to keep your activity like a farming you can still make a garden like this size and then can continue so like there are a lot of you know changes but it should also respect um, the houses where they lived before mm, nice because um, uh, it reminds me with uh, 2000 2016 yeah 2016 i mm -hmm. went to uh, fukuoka and uh, one of oh, uh, nice. one of the agenda of the visit is uh, uh, visiting uh, one uh, place that uh, mm -hmm. the building is uh, uh, designed after tsunami and then the construction is from kind of aluminium or something and then oh, so it's, yeah. it's light and then but it's it, it looks high tech and it looks modern but it's it's light i mean like oh that, that's yeah. just my first experience and then he mm -hmm. came to us that this this building is uh, kind of uh, uh, post disaster uh, a friendly post disaster something like that so this is uh, mm -mm. yeah i mean like not difficult to build this building but <clears throat> Uh, and then uh, after you combine, I mean, uh, uh, the plan. Uh, mm. What about the 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 uh, the the I mean uh, the period? I mean, like when people build the house, it will forever, right? So what about the design yeah. for the building or the house? Or let's say the house, yeah, the house for mm. after disaster. I mean, post disaster. Uh, okay, I mean, okay. Is it for forever yeah, yeah. or for temporary or? The per, I mean, so, yeah, there are two things like what you say, what you saw, like aluminium building that yes. is called temporary housing. And uh, in Japan, legally, it lasts for two years. So uh -huh. basically, people after evacuation center, people uh -huh. go to the temporary housing and then leave for tw two years and then move to the, you know, rebuild long-term housings uh -huh. but actually often the temporary period for long it becomes three years five years and then people are still living in a temporary housing then after that you will move to the new you know long-term uh, housing so there are two type of you know deconstruction mm -hmm. first you have temporary housing and then after that you actually build the house which permanent uh, similar to yeah what you lived Oh. but for the temporary housing yeah 
it's it's quite light as you say okay. <laughs> it's prefabricated nice. mm-hmm. So now we talk about Indonesia, yeah. Juta Jabi for viewer and listener, uh, Sachi uh, has been working in Indonesia for uh, 15 years or 20 years or 100 years. How many years you've been in Indonesia? 30 years. <laughs> huh? 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> uh, no, she's very young. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she's a doctor, she's very young. <laughs> okay, uh, why okay. Indonesia? I mean, what what brings you to Indonesia? Is this is it because our director or uh, something special about Indonesia, uh, or <laughs> because that's the reason we met? <laughs> okay, <laughs> why Indonesia? So I found Indonesia is very uh, how to say very energetic place. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of young people. Of course, the uh, average age is quite young, like less than 30. True. So I saw a lot of like energy in Jakarta. Many people want to start their own business. That is quite different from the atmosphere in Japan. So like there are a lot of potential growing and have a, you know, bright future. That is great. But also... The nature and the traditional cultures and ethnics, lifestyles, those are also fascinating because I like to, to learn the local culture and they mm-hmm. have, you know, batik and all different food. So I, I need 30 years to explore all those. <laughs> so who first time influenced you? I mean, who influenced you to know Indonesia? I mean, who introduced you about Indonesia uh, at the beginning? So I visited Indonesia was the first time by uh, my research. So uh-huh. actually, it's by my professor. My professor recommended me to go to Indonesia and to do a research about the uh, post disaster uh, housing. So maybe because especially Indonesia uh, has a tsunami a long time ago, yeah. So it it be yeah, very related to your study. Uh, okay. Something in common in Japan, Indonesia. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> Sachi, uh, this podcast purpose, I mean, this pod, this, this pod, Juita Jabipa podcast is, um, uh, <laughs> the theme, uh, the, the topic is, I mean, uh, also related to the, related to the uh, Indonesian language and a comedy in a comedy way, because mm-hmm. uh, you know that I'm one of the uh, Bahasa Indonesia ambassador, uh, and then I also yeah. learn comedy. So I combine these two because uh, <laughs> thanks to pandemic, uh, this pandemic uh-huh. <laughs> encouraged me to create a podcast <laughs> because <laughs> I cannot do stand-up comedy. I cannot go to teach Indonesian right. language, become a, a diplomacy, uh, mm-hmm. for a soft diplomacy for Indonesian language around the world because this pandemic. So I combine all these two. So my question is, first time to Indonesia, I mean, uh, mm-hmm. how many languages that you kind of uh, feel important to memorize? Is there any language oh. that you think easy to memorize and then you practice it? You mean Indonesian language? Yes. Bahasa? Yes, Bahasa oh, Indonesia. The important one. Important one is uh, Kanang Kili. Oh, Kanang Kili. <laughs> <laughs> And then what else? <laughs> because when you when you were go uh, when you were in Jogja, you've been to Jogja, right? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I grew up in a, I was born and raised in North Sumatra, and then I grew up in Jakarta. So mm-hmm. when I went to Jogja, uh, they don't really use kiri kanan kanan kiri, but when we mm-hmm. ask for the direction, they say north, west, uh, east, something like that. And I'm oh, not familiar really? with that. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't bring yeah. any compass. I don't know which one is east, which one. Oh, when you want to know east, is the sun. <laughs> when the sun rays is east. <laughs> okay, kanan kiri and what else? What do you think the difficult word? Difficult word. Mm. Mm. There are a lot of, you know, hood related words. Like, I wanted to explain, like, oh, it's Puddha's monies. Uh-huh. Uh, or like, uh, but sometimes I mix up. When it's spicy, I say, oh, monies. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then when it's spicy, I say, asin. 
Okay. 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 Anyway, well, it's all different words. But like, mm-hmm. Confused. <laughs> confused. So uh, my impression first time to Japan, but this uh, mm-hmm. only when they to uh, uh, first time. Maybe the next time I don't know. Maybe it will be different. But my first mm-hmm. impression is you are so polite, and then you are so respect to others, and then I mean, but the expression is like all the same. The expression. Mm-hmm. For example, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, like the expression is all the same. I don't know. I just going to Fukuoka, but uh, uh-uh. I arrive in Narita first, and then uh-uh. the people is in Narita, and the people in Fukuoka is the same. Uh-uh. I mean, like when you go to Jakarta, and then you uh, arrive in Sukarno Harta Airport, and then you go uh-uh. to uh, Adi Sucipto Airport in Jogja, or uh, uh-uh. Juanda in Surabaya. The people is different. The expression is different. I mean, do you feel that way when you in arrive in Indonesia, or how do you feel? What is your impression for the Indonesian uh, expression? <laughs> oh, I didn't really notice that there are such differences. Mm-hmm. And well, the expression of Indonesian people they are all kind of friendly. Uh-huh. And especially like I like, uh, um, you know, uh, ladies are very friendly and come to me and then talk and they become friends very quickly, you know. Ooh. Okay, Sachi, we go to a uh, mall. Will you go together with us? And then like uh, they are hanging out with many people always. So like this is uh, something special for Indonesia, I feel. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> what about the language? Is there any uh, in your agenda at that time? I want to take Indonesia language a course, <laughs> or you just uh, confidence that uh, you can speak English is enough related to the work and the social mm-hmm. life. Well, I always hope to learn the local language, mm-hmm. and in Indonesia, like. Of course, it's not easy to learn Indonesia because my work language is English and then always I talk to people in English. But then like once I go outside of the office, I go to Ibusuchi to buy food and then <laughs> Ibusuchi, I, have you to, must you know, <laughs> I have to tell like a terong, terong satu. <laughs> so yeah, that's well, you know, good motivation for me. Like, okay, I need to remember long ago, otherwise I'll get a fish uh, than chicken, like when I wanted to chicken. But you know, sometimes I don't know that exact word. <laughs> you just, you just uh, p- uh, point your finger. Yeah, I want this, this one, this one, this yeah. one, this one, and yeah, yeah there. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, not really uh, because uh, you know, Sachi, uh, Indonesia government is kind of uh, we already have plan. Actually, we have we have mm-hmm. the regulation already for the foreigner who want to work in Indonesia. They have to pass the test uh, like a standard Indonesian language, like TOEFL, oh. like in English. But not uh, some uh, some province uh, implement it, but some other province get uh-huh. it because it's related to um, uh, many things. But mm-hmm. I think, uh, what is your impression about Indonesia language? Do you think it's difficult? I mean, to learn. Mm-hmm. It is easy to to learn, right? Yeah. Learn, yeah. Compared to France, maybe, or compared to uh, a Mandarin. Yeah, especially the pronunciation is easier. Easier, to the right? other language. Yeah. So, but do you have any word that you difficult to to pronounce? Uh, R is difficult. R or oh, like Jakarta. <laughs> Jakarta. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Because we, in Japanese we don't have this R. Uh-huh. But, uh, and then what else? Uh-huh. Uh, also, you know, I cannot say L. I cannot L. spell L and R. Uh-huh. It all sounds the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> now back again to the uh, architect. So what is your impression about uh, Indonesia architect? I mean, like, uh, you know, you've been to, mm-hmm. have you been to Banda Aceh? Yeah, I went to Banda Aceh. Uh-huh. 
Uh -huh. So what do you think about the design or the architecture for the post-disaster there? Do you think it's, uh, mm. it's the same before uh, disaster? Or do you think, mm, yeah, what do you think? Um, or there are many houses in Bandache which were constructed by different organization. Mm -hmm. So some organization had an idea or maybe had a good architect they created now these houses, but for others, there are some houses which were not in a good quality, abandoned, or like, well, like now nobody are living in, living in it. So just uh, it's it's mixed. Some are good, some are not. But uh, it's very, I guess, difficult for um, many NGO and organization mm -hmm. who involved in a construction at that time were more like a humanitarian organization not the you know architect so i guess that was like you know the one of the issue one of the main key uh factor that made uh, them to build the nice um, houses so uh i mean like uh for me uh, you are the first person that i know uh expert in a post uh, disaster architect uh the this uh this subject is this is it mm -hmm. new i mean for maybe uh the last 10 years or the last 15 years or it's already uh exists since long long time ago like other architect uh knowledge mm -hmm. science I feels like this is not uh, very new in terms of uh, a study area. Mm -hmm. Now there are a lot of people uh, researching about the post-disaster architecture, but um, maybe it just started a few decades ago, started from like um, American researchers mm -hmm. who um, survey about the post-disaster architecture after the San Francisco earthquake and then there were many disasters in America as well so mm -hmm. I guess that's where the study uh, started but then after that the uh, researchers in many other countries like Indonesia or Japan or Italy they also started because those were all needed in their country mm -hmm. which are disaster prone Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what about the language in uh, in um, uh, architect or post this uh, uh, architect uh, term? Yeah, I mean, like, do you mm -hmm. uh, do you find uh, difficulties or do you find interesting a word when you uh, in Indonesia for the term for the in uh, in architect in Indonesia language? Any 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 words that you specific uh, remember mm -hmm. or? Yeah, about the architect. Uh, the term. Think. <laughs> it's not really related to architecture itself, but I like the Goton Loyong. Goton Loyong. <laughs> yeah, Goton Loyong was used after the reconstruction from um, 2006 earthquake in Jogja. True. Because yeah, houses were built in Goton Rayon scheme. So that was quite, you know, interesting term to use for, uh, you know, Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They, they worked at all, to, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, they worked together to rebuild or to build uh, someone's house uh, or. Very uh, Indonesian. Uh, actually, Goton Rayon is a Japanese language. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you uh, go to another province uh, in Indonesia, mm -hmm. they have another term for the Gotong Royong, mm -hmm. but it's all, mm -hmm. it's work together. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning it's all together. And you know what? I just knew it <laughs> also. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I just because uh, currently, uh, currently, uh, uh, Minister of Education in this term is Badan Bahasa. Uh, 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 language uh, organization of mm -hmm. Indonesia is uh, a kind of uh, prepare. It's already on mm -hmm. syllabus now uh, for mm -hmm. the uh, local wise. I mean, local local wisdom. So actually, Indonesia is uh, have many many language. We are a po mm -hmm. polyglot. Actually, uh, we have we, we know a lot of language. So uh, in some area, in many area, Indonesia is not our first language. 
uh, our mm-hmm. first language is uh, ethnic language. So that's why uh, they have we have a uh, uh, that term. And then last week I joined the. Mm-hmm. Uh, workshop for that oh gotong royong so okay. when we are, when i go to sulawesi or <laughs> other island in indonesia they have that term not gotong royong they don't say gotong royong but it's the oh, same different. work together yeah yeah oh, eh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay gotong royong nice <laughs> okay uh sachi uh please be patient yeah my question is uh, just imagine i'm a seven years old and i don't know anything about the architect <laughs> okay uh, uh so this knowledge i mean this science is implemented mm-hmm. uh, can implement in the in the area like indonesia which is potential for a lot of disaster or uh, mm-hmm. the design that you can create is also uh can use for other i mean like um a quiet a uh, place like malaysia malaysia is a uh, less a uh, potential for mm-hmm. disaster right or some mm-hmm. other country mm-hmm. i mean but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah what do you think huh so maybe uh first to make it clear there are different types of houses related to disaster the True. first uh, disaster resilient architecture is you know seismic resilient which is made by you know concrete and then even there's earthquake it will not you know fall apart on down so those are the you know strong architecture for disaster uh-huh. but the post disaster architecture could have many different uh features for example in jogja mm-hmm. there was a house designed uh, by an architect by local architect and then it's called the core housing uh-huh. they built first the core part only one room and uh-huh. which is you know minimum size for a family to stay inside uh-huh. and then maybe there's a, like a kitchen or some other important function but it's a cheap because it's only one room uh-huh. then it's expandable uh-huh. if you earn more money uh-huh. you can just add the rooms so this is more about the function not the strengths But oh. this is one way of post-disaster housing. So we cannot build the same housing in a different countries, but we can use this idea, you know, okay, expandable housing. Maybe I can design similar in Japan or in Malaysia. Okay, because my understanding is, uh, not my understanding, my mind is goes to, okay, a post-disaster. I mean, like, this is temporary design. That's mm. that's my that's my concept. This is temporary design, and then I think that. But this is fun too. For example, uh, well, uh, um, from the beginning, I mean, from the, our ancestor, from our parents, mm-hmm. they when they build the house, it will be for forever. I mean, the design. Mm. Uh, sometimes we change the paint, but we never uh-uh. change <laughs> the uh, the roof, something like that. So, but I think if if this is temporary it will cost a lot yeah i mean for example every two years you have to redesign or but i think it's fun yeah but actually mm-mm, it's fun and it's very important to you know to modify customize your home true because huh? that's research if you go to temporary housing you will get you know same prefabricated aluminium housings which is not a very friendly if you go to move to fabric housing You know, all you get is the same housing. But, you know, after you move in, some people start decorating, putting photos, but some people don't. Mm-mm. But for, for people who actually do those customized decoration, they can more um, easily adapt to the new life, make mm-hmm. friends, and, you know, um, get used to uh, your, your life in that new building. So this is very important and I think uh, you have to use your creativity <laughs> even if it's temporary and then you need to leave but it's very nice to have yeah, such customers. More lively yeah? I mean like because yeah. maybe, um, uh, maybe you are uh, 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 we are different I mean like uh, when I was a kid I mean I never have a dream to have mm. a house in a in housing like this currently i'm living in a housing i mean like is a uh-huh. is a uh, every house is almost the same so mm. my parents house from my mother's side from my father's side mm-hmm. they they just they have their own house not in a housing not in a not in mm-hmm. 
a house complex. So it's different. So I never dream have a, a similar house with others. And then I think it's yeah. funny. I mean, <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a bit uh, not cool yeah. Because for example, I imagine one day I will uh, drunk example uh, in the middle of the night, mm. and I just enter someone else's house because it's look the same. <laughs> 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 I mean, like that's why I don't like housing. But this this is also the first time for me. I live in a in a housing. It's uh my uh on the left side and the right side and the front is the house is the same. <laughs> only the color, only the paint is different, but the size is the same. Yeah. So <clears throat> for the post disaster uh house or building, is it? Mm-hmm. Do you do you make the I mean similar like this I mean like a similar uh, concept or yeah. for example if uh, um, mm. there are some different concepts but uh-huh. the usually we get the same houses because it's fast and cheap ah but you know if you can plan better or if you have a little bit more resources to put for example like you can use locally produced wood timbers for uh-huh. the temporary housing and then wood is better because it's more friendly you feel like it's more like your house not like just a temporary place mm. so those kind of customize you can do by own village mm. okay nice <clears throat> sachi uh i have a uh a uh, new uh, understanding better understanding about architect and post disaster now thank you so much i believe our listener and viewer also feel the same uh yeah uh but before um, I, w- i would like to i th- actually i have a wait a second yeah 552 another question but the, it will be till uh. 3 am this morning <laughs> <laughs> so before we finish this uh, conversation, uh, I would like to ask you uh, some uh, like um, uh, uh, short question. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mention three names in your life that often make mm. you laugh. <laughs> make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, three names. Uh, Hmm. The is it okay if it's Japanese or <laughs> anything? Or anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Yes. Well, I like uh, a comedian. Uh huh. And first one is international, Trevor Noah. Oh, he's, he's very good American. looking. <laughs> He's very he's good looking. Comedian. <laughs> yeah, Trevor Noah. Everybody yeah. loves him. Yeah. <laughs> I like his news. And the second one is uh, my local friend. Uh-huh. The third And one. The third one is uh your supervisor, uh, maybe? No. Gin Gin. You know what? Gin. Gin. Gin the name. Of my cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's very yeah. When the last time you cry so hard, you feel so sad. When the last time? Oh my god, <laughs> I cry often. <laughs> oh really? Oh. <laughs> Usually, Siger is the strong one, the strongest one. Unlike me, I look brave. I look in it, but actually, uh, weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, delicate heart. I always cry, so I don't even remember when I cried last time. But the uh, it seems recently during or... pandemic, I just uh, cannot. I just cannot meet my friend for a lot. Uh-huh. And during this uh, stay home period, and uh-huh. I felt quite lonely. Like oh. you know, like yeah, I cannot see people. People will forget me. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. People that you had with uh, I mean, uh, uh, there is a book that I want to read. Uh, written mm. by one of the comic, a stand-up comedian, Daniel Sloss. He mentioned that everybody that you had is going to die. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Very so, true. but do you know when you arrive in Indonesia? When you uh, come to Indonesia? 
uh, your name is uh, Suzuki is very popular in Indonesia. Do you know that? Uh, because it's a motorbike. Yeah, yeah. So it's very no. so people will think that also oh, <laughs> you are the owner of Suzuki. <laughs> Yeah, I always answer like, yeah, it's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I own all that brand. You can say like that. <laughs> okay. You tell me what you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sachi, if you have a superpower, what kind of superpower do you want to have? Superpower? Yes. I know you are what a I wonder want woman do? currently. <laughs> You can do magic, okay? After disaster, magic. Uh, yeah. I want to do, I want to fly. Fly like a bird. Like a bird, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's great. To, no? <laughs> okay. Uh, any song that for the last week you often sing or listen to? Uh, listen to... Yeah, there's a, a music which was created my, by my friend. Oh, okay. Your friend is a musician or uh, yeah, a singer? musician. Okay. She produces music by you know like a synthesizer. It's, it's um, most of the times without the song, but more like instrumental. Okay, so what is the genre? Is a classic, a rap, rock? Oh. How you call ambient? Ambience. Okay. Mm. No idea about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good for relaxing time. Oh, relaxing time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not mine because I relax all the time. <laughs> you you okay. like it. Okay. So, and what about? Um, do you have do, uh, any Indonesian song that you know? I mean, like familiar or often you listen. This is this this is Indonesian song. Do you know any Indonesian song? Not to memorize it, but you know this is Indonesian song. Yeah, I I had a lot of uh, Indonesian song that is, but I don't know the name. I also often hear the song called Kokoro no Tomo. I don't know somehow it, this is a famous in Indonesia, and yeah. I didn't know this song. Until I come to Indonesia. <laughs> really? Oh my God, this is very uh, hot news. So, you know, Kokorono song after you come to Indonesia. Previously, uh -huh. you don't uh -huh. know at all that that song is from your country. I didn't know. Okay, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, better you check with us, a Japanese friend. Everything was the same. So, what, what do you think you don't know that song? I mean, is it? I know you were uh, a Z generation. Uh, you are a Z generation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, that song is not popular there. You're from your previous generation or? Yeah, maybe from previous generation. But when I talked to my parents, they also said, like, uh, yeah, I know this song. But I, I don't know if it was famous. <laughs> oh, okay. It's more famous yeah. in Indonesia. Uh, it also happened to me, like when I was in uh, Phnom Penh, uh, some yeah. of many of my students, uh, Ibu, uh, do you know the song uh, Tak Tuang Tuang, Tak Tuang Tuang? I know, I don't, I don't know this song. I never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's also happened to me. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, what about, uh, can you mention five street name that you know in uh, Kebayoran Baru? Because you live in Kebayoran Baru last time, right? Can you mention five street yeah. name? Hmm, Sriwijaya. Sriwijaya. Galu. Goa. Galu. Galu, that's our <laughs> office, yeah. Goa. Goa, yeah. Wow. Not Senopati? Senopati. <laughs> okay. One more. Oh no. No idea. No idea. Only four. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you don't know. Okay. Hmm. Sudirman. Oh, Sudirman. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Mention five me Indonesian menu that you often eat when you were in Indonesia. Indonesian food. Yeah. Uh, nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Sate. Sate. 
Soto ayam. Soto ayam. <laughs> uh, tempe goreng. Tempe goreng. And uh, mangga. Mangga. <laughs> That's good. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what about the name? Do you think Indonesian name has a specific uh, name? I mean, like um, uh, uh, the the this is the 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 signature or this is the typical of Indonesian name. Like Suzuki should be Japanese, cannot be uh, mm. African, right? <laughs> Unless you mix. Uh, what about Indonesian name? Do you notice five names from I... Indonesia? Oh, uh, five names which. Family, familiar. I mean, that's common for Indonesian name. Yeah. Huh. Like in Indra. Indra. Yeah, Indra. Indra. Yeah. Indra. <laughs> Indra. Yeah, a lot of Ade. Ade. Ade means younger. Yeah, Ade. Yeah, okay. Many Ade, yeah. So many Ade. <laughs> uh -uh. And then? And then also... Some uh, suchi is also something suchi. interesting. Oh yeah, holy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Similar to suchi. <laughs> oh, because it's close to your name, sounds like suchi, suchi. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then? Also like uh, something like bambang. Bambang, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. We're Indonesian now. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is the last question. Yeah, mention five uh -huh. names, uh, boys' names that you kind of cross on of Indonesia, boy, Indonesian men. Do, 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 do you have or no name? <laughs> no name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Sachi. Um. Sachi, thank you so much. I'm so happy tonight. I'm kind of, we planned this for how many times we cancel this? I got a vaccine, you got a fever, what else? <laughs> I'm not feeling good. <laughs> so many times. Yeah, thank you, Sachi. I'm so happy and thank you for the thank knowledge you. sharing for the uh, post disaster architect and then Juwita Jabiba viewer and listener. <laughs> That's uh, our conversation uh, with uh, our talk, yeah, uh, easy talk with yeah. Suzuki, yeah. <laughs> so Thank people, you. if people want to know more about uh, post uh, disaster architect, uh, how can they reach you? Can do you have an Instagram or we can uh, do it later uh, on? Oh, uh, Instagram or you can find by Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Okay. Uh -uh. So the uh, in the title of this podcast later on, uh, I will mention, uh -huh. yeah? Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And um, uh, uh, all the best for Sachi. And then hope you can uh, come to Indonesia soon, maybe this year or next year. Yeah, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, yeah. And mm -hmm. thank you, everybody. And see you again in the Juita Jabipa podcast. Bye. Bye.